Look at that. Welcome to the very first Chaos Common Metrics meeting for January 20th, 2022. We're happy to be back. Happy to have everybody here. I will share my screen. Um, let me just. You have the ability to do that. I think. I do. Can. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can all see that, right? Yep. Um, okay, so this is the first meeting of the year. Um, I think I missed the last meeting of the year, if I remember correctly. Uh, I did indeed. So I, I kind of put together sort of the same, same agenda, um, starting with kind of all of the, the typical things like uh, reviewing our PRs, metric spreadsheet. I'm not sure where we are with the episodic contributors or occasional consistent contributors. So if we need to, we can talk about that. We also um, had that uh, discussion about reviewing older metrics. And we can also talk about which metrics to work on next, unless what we want to work on next is the older metrics review. But um, before we started, I wanted to ask, is there anything else that we need to add to the agenda that people that we really need to talk about today? Are there any burning things that have come up? The only other thing that you know, we could just talk about it here real briefly or at the end is the relationship of the working groups with the metric model working group, because the metric models are based on the metrics that come from the like the common DEI evolution working group. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of sorting that out a little bit. So the as it's first on the list, I'll just say this. So the the idea is, is that in the metrics model working group, which again is a, a collection of kind of these atomic metrics, that we in the working group like like common won't initiate the conversation with the model group that as the model group is developing models if there are metrics that they believe are not developed and mm -hmm. are potential candidates to be developed in common they would simply post uh an issue indicating that this is a metric that they hope could be developed because it would help describe a model a little bit better okay so really just a workflow thing. Cool. A comment on that. So uh, they'll be creating an issue uh, on the that uh, on a particular atomic metric that need to be developed. Will they be joining in helping uh, figure that out or? Yeah, so part of the issue, the issue that would be posted it could be like a preliminary draft of what that metric could be. It could include perhaps the question, perhaps the objective of the metric. I think there's enough of us that are on the metrics model working group. It's really late your time, Don, so you won't be there. But like enough of us, it's like 6 p.m. Central. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> not okay for you. <laughs> um, and so between posting the issue which has at least a reasonable description and then for for us that are in both of the meetings as well we, we should be able to translate between and also we will tell them the model the metrics model working group like don't just assume that you if you place an issue this metrics going to be developed in a week like that's not, <laughs> that's not how it works it might take a little bit of time okay do we have pretty good, given the timing of that meeting, do we have pretty good representation from Asia? I assume that's why we had such a late meeting. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Because yeah. the APAC, I was just thinking in, in the APAC um, call, we we talk about the models all the time. So I wasn't surprised that it was super late and an Asia friendly time. Folks from, I looked at the last meeting minutes, folks from Microsoft are now starting to join. Oh, with, nice. Yeah, on the West Coast. And then it looked like Rhea was there as well from HP. Okay. Yeah, so some some really good representation too from different organizations. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, who who's joining from Microsoft? I'm just curious. Uh, Emma and Scott. Oh, Emma. Okay. And S Scott, I don't know. Isn't it Scott? I'm pretty sure it's Scott. Anyway, there you go. Cool. Well, I'm glad to see Emma kind of re-engaged in the chaos yes. community. That's totally. fantastic because she's 
she's fabulous. I just have a huge amount of respect for the work that she does. Agreed. I'm a fan club. That's what I, that's what I am. Um, anything else on the metric model working group? Okay. So PRs and open issues. Um, woo, no pull requests. That's great. You guys must have been productive at the end of the year. Um, and then the issues. We got this big one, review of release metrics. So we'll save that one for, for that agenda item. Um, occasional contributors. Uh, we also have that on the agenda. And then the rest of these are, see this one is more of a discussion. I like that we've labeled some of these, that's great. Um, this is just a standard release notes one. And these are these two metrics that we've been kind of working on off and on. Is there anything here that we need to talk about? We were gonna add, and I was just looking, but we're gonna add one more label, which is called like reviewing metric or something like that. I yeah, it should be there. Is it there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Revisiting, oh, revisiting metric. metric, look at that. Cool. Speaking of labels. That, um, <laughs> that release notes issue, should we close that and open a new one for the next release in March, April? Can we just rename it? Can... Unless there's something specific to that release, I don't know. This issue, let's see. Yeah, we probably think... should. Yeah, I think that's usually what Kevin does. We take a look at if we take a look at closed issues, we would see if we historically close. Yeah. What's down just down at the bottom? There it is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, should we just should we just close it? Uh, do we need to open a new one? We can close it. I don't I think we can close it. I don't know what our next timing is. Okay. You know how we kind of normally go around things like an event of some sort. I'll just tag Kevin in it um, to ask about whether we need to open a new one. Okay. Yeah, Kevin may have a process, I'm not sure. Yeah. And this will be good too, because it'll bring up the issue of our next release date. I don't think we've talked yeah. about it. Okay, cool. Any other issues that we wanna talk about? Um, metrics tracking spreadsheet. Is there any, I don't know if there's anything we really need to talk about on this. I kind of leave it as an ongoing agenda item, but I feel like there hasn't been any, any change to the status of any of the metrics. Unless I'm missing major, I did a major cleanup of it. Oh, cool. So just to make sure. Can I talk about the cleanup that you did or. Uh, it, part of it is just like getting the color coding together. Some of the color coding was like greens were not with greens and reds were not with the reds. So <laughs> consider that just a <laughs> personal thing. Um, I added the, the versioning column there. So that's just as we, if we re-release a metric, we want to yeah. update the version. We have not talked about what that revisiting would be. Do we just go to version two? Is it 1.1? 1 .1? We don't have... We could follow the Oracle model, which is just go from one to 10 and then from 10 to a hundred. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. I mean, the easiest okay. way is just version one and then version two and then version three. Cause um, 
that's that seems easiest i mean for software we use semantic versioning right but it's like did we make a minor update is there a bug fix was there a security issue yeah um it seems like overkill i think one two three is probably sufficient yeah. for and for our minor <laughs> updates we don't even review our minor updates like if it's just like a, a sentence is awkward we just go ahead yeah. and change it and it's, it's yeah. done it's done so how about like the revisions we keep it as a version 1.1 following semantic and for new releases we can have version 2 or something but i think the the point being is if we just have like small changes we don't need to version anything there's really no need to track that okay do we need another status for those that we are currently revisiting I've been using the remarks column for that. Oh, OK. So I just put it like if DEI is reviewing code of conduct in the remarks column, I just put currently re-reviewing, yeah, updating at. See OK. That right OK, perfect. Um, and then if you scroll a little bit to the right, I just also made sure that Anything that we were working on, common, I don't think was had this problem, but anything we were working on was in a Google Doc or some shared doc because we don't work on metrics in GitHub. They only live on GitHub when they're under review or released. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So Sean's point um, does look nice and clean with the I know, doesn't it? Yeah. All together. It's, it's, it's nice. Thank you. So to Sean's point in the chat, should we make a list of the ones that we need to review and put them in that issue? I already did that too. Oh, you did. Okay, perfect. Cool, because I think that's uh, on the on the agenda for us to to look at. Um, what's what's the status on the occasional inconsistent contributors? Gosh, I don't know. Let's just talk about that real quick. Um, what is this? what issue is this? Was this a the occasional contributors. Oh, okay. I was just looking to see where the where the last um oh, gotcha. comment was on the issue, which was September, but we've got a lot more recent activity here. Thanks to our um quality checklist has changed a little to add things in there, like uh synonyms, which I see are is gonna be very important in this metric in particular. Okay. So we can either do that now or we could do it like as a final check before we send it for translations or whatever. Does anybody remember who was who was driving this one? Mm, I recall uh, Regina and Beth were coordinating on this. She was working and yeah. Beth was supporting. That's what I recall last. Yeah, we were communicating, I think, through Slack and then through this document. Yeah. OK. So is there more work that you and Regina need to do? Well, I don't know. Like, I'll just do an action item. I'll I'll ping her on Slack and just see if, if we could kind of agree that this is ready to go to review with the group. OK. So we'll just give you action item yeah just to connect with regina and finalize I, I honestly i think it's getting pretty close to being done okay can't type today um so we'll talk about it in the next meeting if that's all right yeah and i'll i'll really try to get it to a state where I think it's ready to be reviewed here. Okay. Okay. And then the older metrics review. There we go. 
Yeah. Um, so Matt, you said you were working a little bit on this. Do you want to talk about it? Sure. So this is what you see here is a template that we're putting in all working groups. And this is how we go about kind of reviewing our metrics. And it also, um, it also shows if you go down just a little bit, all of the common metrics that should be re reviewed at some point. Okay. Um, and so then this is to Elizabeth's point as well. Like there are a few new sections that we add, like one is synonyms, if there are any synonyms and the common example, well, episodic is really good because that there are synonyms for that. Yeah. Um, the other one was um, merge requests or whatever we're calling them, you know, for or, or change requests or merge requests and pull requests. So it's just kind of a walkthrough of things to think about when we're doing reviews of the metrics. Cool. That's a, a little bit clunky in the sense that what, what I think we do is if we're working on a metric, so scroll up just a little bit, like burstiness, I know that's one in there. So if we're re-reviewing burstiness, we really can't use this issue just for burstiness because it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> There's, it's, there's a lot going on in here. So we have to create a new metric, or I'm sorry, a new issue okay. for burstiness that would address these content issues. So I'm wondering, I don't know, maybe workflow we should, I don't know what people think workflow wise. We could keep this as like a, this broad issue that's like, hey, you gotta do all these things for all these metrics. Mm -hmm. And then we could copy this this issue over, but only only including, yeah. Yeah, so what we call this in a lot of other projects I work on are like an umbrella issue. Okay. So it's, it's like the big issue that kind of ties everything together. And then what we would usually do is we'd create like a new, um, a new issue mm -hmm. and then mention it in this issue that the work on burstiness is happening in issue number gotcha. whatever so so this place is like where we collect all the all the pointers to the other pieces okay but yeah what you were saying this was as as you were walking through it i was like i don't see how this works because like we have all these metrics then we have to do these for every single one and i right. wasn't sure how that was a checklist <laughs> exactly um, it but if it's an umbrella issue that totally totally makes sense because then we... like you said we can just copy this okay yeah. if that works then that's cool okay. so Maybe yeah. we add one thing, like for example, if you're reviewing organizational diversity, once we are created an issue, we uh, add the issue number over here in front of organizational diversity that we are reviewing it in the issue number so and so. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna put a note that we need to put these in each issue. Okay. We could also just add a link to the issue. Uh, yeah, well, because if you just type in issue number, it should add a link yeah. automatically, right? Uh, yeah. Does it do it in Markdown? Should. OK, I believe you. I think it depends on how you do it. Um, OK. Yeah. OK. OK. So, so then maybe we don't need that. I was talking while I was typing, but. Maybe we don't need the checklist next door. I mean, we could keep them, but. I, I like having this as a checklist because what okay. we can do is once we, so when we create the issue, we can put the issue number, you know, either right before or mm -hmm. right after um, this. And then once we've, once we've finished it, oh, like it's been reviewed good. and been done and ready to get released, then we tick it, put a tick box yep. next to good it. Idea. Okay. And then, then we know we don't have to, to do anything else. Right on. I'm going to take that text that you just add, added and add it to the template. So we have like a universal template in the metrics folder. Oh, just... yeah. Okay. Um, are there any of these that we want to start with? Um, 
Are any of these things that people have been thinking about wanting to update that does anybody want to sign up to, to take one of these? In DEI, we tried to start with what we thought was the easiest one, which was code of conduct at an event. And it. And then I heard you rewrote the whole thing. So that, that was well done. Yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> that was a bad pick. It was a good pick, but it was a bad pick. But I mean, so we could follow that, like trying to trying to pick the one that we think might require the least amount of work. <laughs> I would say we picked the one we released first, like I, the I was old just one. Say that. Yeah, I wonder if we start with organizational diversity because wasn't that sort of the metric that kicked off common the common working group? Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm so looking at the uh, release notes from 2019, 08, and organizational diversity is the first one listed. So yeah. Cool. Does somebody want to take the action item um, to start with that one, like to create the issue and the doc for us to start? I do it. Yeah, how to do it. And so Vinod just create a yeah, just create a whole new Google Doc. And yep. Just copy it, create a whole new Google Doc. We'll go work right. over there. And then yep. and I'll create an issue for this and uh, uh, copy all that comment. stuff. For, yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right. So we'll start with that one and we'll start working through it. And then we can refine our process before we before we start any of the others. Um, and then do we, as, as a working group, do we want to focus on any new metrics right now, or do we want to focus on going back through some of the old ones and, and focus on the older metrics review for a while? I'm, I'm, I guess if I lean one way, it's to take a look at some of the older metrics. So that kind of seems like it's kind of an important point in 2022. But like, if you look at the list of the metric, we have recently released a lot of metrics, like in the last release. So I feel like it's very recent. If I look at the list, technical for clones, all these are very recent, like released in the last metric and has been reviewed. So. Well, this is the second time Vinod has said exactly what I was going to say. Uh, um, I, I feel like we were sort of the overachievers in the last release. And so we cranked out a whole bunch of metrics. And so I agree with Matt. I think now is probably a good time for us to just kind of focus on going through some of the older ones and making sure that we have solid metrics. So I will I'll just put a note that we're focused on older metrics. Okay. I had one other thing just that came to mind. Yeah. Um, we have been archiving meeting minutes that are like from 2019 and 2020. Yeah. And so the way DEI is doing it is they just have a, I forget what it is. It's like meeting a meetings folder. And then yeah. they just have like a 2019.md file and then a 2020.md file, and it's all just copied over. So we should probably do that here too. Yeah, because I'm looking, I, I scrolled all the way down to the very bottom of the document and it looks like we just put them in a separate Google Doc. Um, yeah, and we were- I like the idea of putting them in the repository and mark down where people can find them. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I can take that action item on just to kind of clean that up. I'll connect with Matt Cantu if he had like anything funny that he did, but I don't think it, there was. So uh, I would add like, if you want to keep that uh, Google Doc as a mock time, there's a plugin you can use and it'll create the entire Google Doc as a markdown for you. And you just upload that markdown rather than formatting it or changing anything. You can just uh, do it as a markdown. Could you help me or show me what that, where that is? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it works. Uh, assign me into this item and I'll 
convert it as a markdown because I don't see it handy right now, but there is a tool through which you export it as a markdown, like entire Google Doc. All right, cool. Meaning up, meaning minutes. Anything else we should be thinking about today? Talking about today? Okay. Um, Yep, uh, I can share the screen now. It's an uh, option. Just if oh, you can give yeah, me here. a minute to share just... the screen. Okay. Can you see this screen? Yep. So in the add-ons, I have a doctor markdown. There is an add-on, I found it in the Firefox, like uh, for the Google Docs. I mm -hmm. just convert it, I've opened this over. So if I'm pressing it, convert, it's creating a doc and uh, like you can use this in uh, here and markdown, yeah converting your text to a markdown. Here is the entire output as a markdown. So you can copy and save it. So I can just copy and save it as and upload it in a GitHub as a markdown. And then just take the pieces that need to be uploaded. Okay. Yep. I okay. can just save it as a new page, as a markdown page, and uh, yeah. upload it as a file in the GitHub as a markdown. That's all yeah. I have to do. Easy enough. Can you use yep. Okay. Oh. I can do that uh, that action item. I'll just delete this today's meeting and just copy the entire thing and then upload it as a markdown. In the we were keeping like the minutes in the Google Doc. Go back like yeah, I don't know, like six so months it, or something like that. It'll be for the entire year, I guess, for twenty twenty one. That's fine. Yeah, you can keep that. It's not. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And so just create a markdown for whatever, okay. 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Great. Thanks for that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get rid of your action item to tell Matt how to do it and just give you the action item to do it. That's good. All right. Me. Anything else? No. No, I'm good. I'm all for short, efficient meetings. Yep. I don't have a problem um, with this. I am too. <laughs> I'll use the remaining time to do my action items before I forget them. <laughs> Perfect. All, all right. right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.